The technical specifications, issues and reliability of the Ford 1.5 litre EcoBoost GTDI i4 engine reveal a refined design approach. Ford introduced this new EcoBoost engine in 2013, building on the 1.0 litre EcoBoost Y3's design framework while addressing known cooling issues from the earlier 1.6 litre EcoBoost engine. The 1.5 litre version is a four-cylinder inline turbocharged gasoline engine with direct fuel injection, featuring Ford's latest advancements in EcoBoost technology. Initially launched in the 2014 Ford Fusion and the 2015 Mondeo, this engine soon found its way into other models like the Ford Focus, C-Max and Cougar Escape, largely replacing the 1.6 litre version on the market. Similar to the 1.6 litre EcoBoost, the 1.5 litre engine uses an aluminum cylinder block with cast iron liners and an open deck design for optimised cooling. It incorporates a cast iron crankshaft with four counterweights and five main bearings, forged powder metal connecting rods and hyper eutectic aluminum pistons with friction reducing coated asymmetric skirts. Although the bore size remains the same, the engine's displacement was reduced by using a shorter stroke crankshaft 76.40 mm. The engine also features a redesigned aluminum cylinder head with an integrated exhaust manifold, allowing exhaust heat to warm up the engine faster while extending turbocharger lifespan through lower exhaust temperatures. It employs a DOHC design with two cams per cylinder bank, driven by Ford's twin independent variable cam timing TIE VCT technology. The timing system, adopted from the 1.0 i3 engine, includes a timing belt that runs in engine oil, reducing noise and enhancing durability. Additionally, the oil pump, electronically controlled with variable displacement, is also belt-driven in oil and designed for the engine's lifespan. EcoBoost engines are highly efficient, leveraging turbocharging and direct fuel injection. The 1.5 EcoBoost includes a high-performance, low-inertia Borg Warner turbocharger with an active wastegate and a water-to-air intercooler integrated within the plastic intake manifold. The high-pressure direct injection system injects fuel directly into each combustion chamber via six-hole injectors located in the cylinder head next to the spark plugs. Engine control is managed by an electronic throttle and a Bosch MED-17 ECU. Together with a three-way catalytic converter and advanced technology applications, this engine meets the stringent Euro 6 emissions standard. In line with Ford's downsizing strategy, the company introduced a new 1.5-litre i3 EcoBoost Dragon engine in 2018, marking another step toward more compact and efficient engine designs. The 1.5 i4 EcoBoost engine is known for its overall reliability, but several specific issues have been reported by owners over time. While it's not as prone to overheating as the 1.6 EcoBoost, this engine still has certain vulnerabilities tied to its modern design. The direct injection system in the 1.5 EcoBoost engine is sensitive to fuel quality, making it more susceptible to injector clogging if low quality fuel is used. This clogging can reduce fuel efficiency and lead to rough idling or engine misfires. The issue requires preventive measures like using fuel additives or periodically cleaning the injectors to maintain optimal performance. Like many direct injection engines, the 1.5 EcoBoost often develops carbon deposits on the intake valves over time. These deposits can restrict airflow, affecting fuel efficiency and engine performance. Regular intake cleaning or walnut blasting may be necessary to prevent serious buildup. Although it has a more stable cooling system than the 1.6 version, some users report minor coolant leaks over time, which can eventually lead to engine overheating if not addressed. Periodic checks for coolant levels and leaks are advised to avoid any risk of overheating. The turbocharger in the 1.5 EcoBoost generally has a longer lifespan than that in the 1.6 EcoBoost due to cooler exhaust temperatures. However, it's still vulnerable to wear if the engine oil isn't properly maintained. Using high quality oil and following Ford's recommended oil change intervals are essential to prolong the turbocharger's life as oil provides crucial lubrication and cooling.
Though less common, issues with the water pump or timing belt have been reported in some cases. Failure in either component can lead to severe engine damage if not promptly repaired. It's important to monitor these parts closely, particularly once the vehicle surpasses 100,000 miles. To maximize the 1.5 EcoBoost engine's lifespan, regular maintenance and high quality fuel are essential. Periodically checking and cleaning the fuel injectors, intake valves and cooling system can help prevent most issues. Following the manufacturer's service recommendations and addressing any warning signs early can keep this engine running reliably beyond 150,000 miles, 250,000 kilometers.